Hi, my name is Linnell Cameron, Director of Sustainability at Autodesk, and I'm here today with Paul Cousins, North America Sales Manager for the clean tech industry. And we're going to talk a little bit about the Autodesk Clean Tech Partner Program that we've launched in the recent months. So first, let me talk a little bit about what is clean technology, mm -hmm. especially in the context of sustainable design, which we've been hearing about a lot today sure. at AU on Mainstage. So we think of clean tech, we've defined it as those companies that are of a primary business activity is related to solving an environmental challenge that we're facing. Mm -hmm. So this is different from you know, a Motorola who's designing a green phone. We put that more in the sustainable design category, whereas clean technology is companies that are solely focused on an environmental challenge. That's right. You can think about renewable energy, wind, solar, water treatment plants, water purification, energy efficiency, these kind of companies. Mm -hmm. And so what we've launched in this clean tech partner program is a program to grant up to $150,000 worth of software to 100 of the most promising clean tech startups. So Paul, do you want to talk a little bit about our digital prototyping solution and how we are helping these clean technology entrepreneurs get to market faster? Sure. Well, certainly the, the one thing that, or actually the three things that all clean technology early stage and startup companies have in common is that number one, they don't have a lot of money, they're early capitalized, and most importantly, they're trying to get a new technology to market faster. And thirdly, they're really trying to sell that product, not just to their first customers, but also to you know, their investment community, the venture capitalists. And we try and help all those big problems with our program. So firstly, it's, it's the uh, digital prototyping solution. Mm -hmm. So the one thing Autodesk is good at, and being a leader in the clean technology industry, we work with the big, big companies. So we, have, we know the best practices to help them get to market. So you know, more than just giving them the free software, we try and partner with them. So we'll come in, and the first step is trying to understand their goals and their challenges and their initiatives and what they're trying to make with their new new product. And essentially, we can put together a solution using our digital prototyping solution, uh, typically with an Autodesk Inventor as the backbone to that, that can give them a scalable, cost-effective, attainable product. So I mentioned um, $150,000 150, of software. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about what those six applications are and how those help our customers, just briefly at a high level? Yeah, well, so, you know, again, I mentioned Inventors, the main backbone to that, and so that's our, our, our main um, CAD package in there. But it's really the complementary products around Inventor that can really you know, help these companies. So uh, one area that I, I do a lot of work on is in the design visualization. So many of our these companies, you know, their challenge is they're trying to sell these products. So we'll help with some of our Autodesk Showcase or even 3D Studio Max to create an animation or a, a real-time photorealistic visualization of their digital prototype before it's built. And that's really helpful for them when they're trying to sell to their customers and, their, and the venture capitalists. So um, they don't have to rely on many different technologies it, with the beauty of partnering with Autodesk is we can have a single digital model all the way from the ideation stage of coming up with sketches and models of what they want to build to the engineering and simulation, the real heavy lifting, and then start getting into manufacturing and even the plant design and layout and then the sales and marketing. So it's a really big advantage for these companies to partner with us where they normally wouldn't have had a lot of money to invest in yeah, all this technology. Bet. And we like to give them the best we have. And so they can create a backbone yep. to scale as they get to the next level. So we're, we're giving actually five seats of six different applications. So it's Vault, Revit, Inventor, Navisworks, Showcase, and Alias. That's right. Right. Okay. Um, and it sounds like this has taken off uh, incredibly in the last couple of months where we have an incredible flood of clean tech entrepreneurs who are eager for our software. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about maybe one or two of those companies, who they are and how they're using our software sure. to get to market? Yeah, well, you know, it, certainly we're in a good time right now. We're, um, you know, a lot of investment going in the clean tech, area, in clean tech area. So there's a lot of entrepreneurs really trying to get these new products. And so a lot of neat innovation happening. And so we're fortunate to be at the forefront working with them. One of my favorite examples early on was a company, Springboard Biodiesel. So here's a biodiesel company based in California that, you know, the problem they're trying to solve is how to use waste oils from, you know, kitchens and things like that to kind of turn into biodiesel. And so from the manufacturability, fairly straightforward problem for what inventors really well known for, for designing a, a scalable new product. But when we first started talking to them, they needed to build this second version of their prototype. And it had to be bigger and better. And they wanted to, they knew there'd be a third one coming, so they wanted to adopt best practices so their company could grow. 
And uh, so that was a fairly yeah. straightforward helping. But what really helped them out was, again, the design visualization. They've got to sell these products. Yeah. And, and they're trying to get some more funding, too. So they, uh, they now have full, you know, uh, photorealistic models yeah. of the things they can put into the context of, of their customers. Say, this is what it's going to look like. Here's how it works uniquely. And uh, it's really helped us. So it's been a great partnership for Autodesk. You know, I think that's what a lot of the companies are talking to me about after is how they didn't, you know, they're, they're struggling to uh, communicate their ideas. And these are often really complex technologies, whether it's harnessing wind power or energy storage mm -hmm. or energy efficiency. And so for them to be able to build a digital prototype um, that will simulate exactly how their technology will perform and act in the real world before they've even invested in building a physical prototype has just been a tremendous boon in terms of communicating with investors, which is their biggest challenge. Right now stage. it is. And, you know, and the, the thing is, you meet some very bright people that are, you know, have all these new, new ideas that no one's invented before, so there isn't a, a way to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, But the challenge is they're not always the best presenters. You know, they can have a couple PhDs, but quite often they're up there with an Excel spreadsheet and trying to explain how it's going to work. Yeah. And so by working with our team and, and getting their engineering team working, they can have these digital prototypes. And so um, it, it is working out well. Yeah, great. Well, a lot of people ask me, why? Why is Autodesk investing and giving away $15 million worth of software? And, you know, I think there's a couple, couple reasons. First, because we have what we like to think of as the design engine fueling the clean tech revolution. So we've got some design software that can help them get to market faster. And so, you know, that's an important role that we can play on this, getting these brilliant ideas out there to market. Um, but there's another piece of it, I think, where, as you described, some of these just brilliant entrepreneurs have some great insights for us that we can then weave back into our own technology sure. as we think about future, um, f future versions of Revit and whatnot, Inventor. Sure. So, um, you know, it's a win-win in that sense. Well, some of them, sorry, some of them are breaking new areas. Where you know we do a lot in digital prototyping for developing engineering product, but also in building information modeling in BIM. And so, so Adora is a good example of a customer in our program where yeah. they. You know, they're, they like to, I like the way they explain it. They're the last yard of the smart grid. Right. And so they solve the problem of how do you, you know, manage the lighting sources in, in a building. And so they can do that wirelessly. But when they're going to market, they leverage the, the fact that they've got these products designed using mm -hmm. Inventor, but also going into a building information model that is designed using AutoCAD Inventor, or, or Revit, sorry. Yeah. And so they can use both our softwares beautifully together to put together a solution for their customers. So yep. it's a great example of a partnership and it's helping them get to market faster and we need them to do that. It, yep. It's going to help all of us when their products are ubiquitous. Yeah, it's really exciting having all these customer examples flooding in with how they've used the technology to get to market faster and there's a bunch of uh, customer examples on autodesk.com slash cleantech mm -hmm. which leads me to how do people get involved? How, if you're an entrepreneur and you want to use our technology, what do these people do? Yep, autodesk.com slash cleantech. There's an application there and a bunch of more information on the problems we can solve for whatever kind of manufacturer you are, whether it's an electric car or something going into build, building information model or just a 100 mile per gallon engine, all these important things that we all need to get to market, all of us. Yep. Um, but right on that form is apply here and uh, that goes into our process and we'll engage with that company as soon as we can Great. and work to understand the problems and help put together a solution. Great, so that's autodesk.com slash cleantech. It's a really simple application form. Um, fill in your basic information and then we will get in touch with you um, and work on an implementation plan so that you are paired up with a reseller who can provide you training and support and get you up, up to speed um, as quickly as possible. That's, that's really important and we, do. we do that, yeah. yeah. Um, so the other thing I wanted to mention, right now this program is only available in North America, right, in U.S. and Canada, but what we found is that there are many, many clean technology companies and entrepreneurs all around the world who are really interested in the program, and mm -hmm. so we are right now talking about a similar program, it won't be the same, but a similar program in China that we hope to get off the ground soon and potentially in other parts of the world. So if you are listening to this from somewhere outside of North America, stay tuned because uh, we hope to offer a similar program shortly. That's great. Good. Well, thank you. And um, please check out autodesk.com slash cleantech. Great.